hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Chena Yase and on this channel I discuss on lifestyle tips wellness tips and journey residency information but today we'll be looking at how to treat how to prevent dry skin in children ready from babies okay we are going to look at the things that you need to avoid this dry skin and if you already have a baby expressing this dry skin how to easily suit this dry skin and treat it at home okay let's start by looking at the things that could cause this dry skin number one thing that could cause this dry skin is consistent bedding of course if you live in temperate regions where the weather is warm a little bit or hot most times you can always bet this child but it shouldn't be all the time and if you're doing this you should be aware that there are mild soaps for babies we use harsh soaps okay harsh soaps are not really good for baby skin there are a lot of soaps that you can get from here in europe okay this is the one that i use we're not advertising for them just to show the lightest soap that you can use this it also has shampoo it's also good for the entire family okay then if you're living in regions that are cold like here in europe you notice that there are seasons like winter when you can decide to choose days that you have to be betting your child it shouldn't be all the time it shouldn't be what you do all the time because if you continue doing this most times regularly this causes dryness of skin i'm saying this from experience because what my daughter had dry skin i experienced it last winter and on this winter it is beginning to show again what causes the first symptom that i noticed is tiny rashes on the skin indicating that the skin needs more oil a kind of dryness is beginning to appear if i leave this and it lingers for so long it's going to begin to be a kind of reddish and scaly all right so the first thing we said is that you should reduce the amount of times the regular time that you bathe the child another thing is that you should not use harsh soaps get mad soaps like we said earlier on the next thing is that you should not be scrubbing the baby's skin with harsh sponge if we're talking about a baby a baby of a year or so there are soft cutting wool sponges that you can get for yourself they come in packs sometimes like this all right this is how it looks like when you unfold it you can just use this to get the water it's very soft for the skin you just use it to you know cleanse the baby's skin this baby is not going to the walk it's not sweating it's not having dirt all over the skin so there's no need to put the whole pressure and scrubbing then if, if you are in summer or the weather is warm where you are the baby is a little bit sweaty and has some kind of death after playing outside you can try to use milder sponges like this one okay they are so soft you can also get ones that suit your baby's skin or available where you are these are things that can cause this really dry skin this was what a doctor told me you should that i should minimize the amount of times that i paid the baby i should get a milder soap that will suit this baby's skin and i should avoid this scrubbing no every time cleaning like the baby is coming from one dirty jungle or, or, or something there's always tenderness in everything that matters to baby's skin because the skin and in my own skin is not the same now she also said a very important thing which she said was to avoid using hot water because it is winter because the weather is cold you may be tempted to use water that is beyond warm which is hot for the baby that's the thermometer that you always have to put in the water to indicate the temperature of this water but sometimes you may be feeling that ah, the baby maybe may get cold because of the, the water that i'm using you're tempted to make this water a little bit hotter the water should be warm this thermometer that you put in the water will helps you to indicate the, the temperature of the environment where you're putting the baby and the water itself make it suitable for the baby okay avoid using hot water hot water takes away the oil in the layer the melanin in the skin leaving the skin to be dry itchy ready and painful so the things that you should do at home to prevent this dry skin easily without stress now if you're looking at uh, creams or body lotion that you can use for baby there are a lot of things that you can use ranging from baby oil this is baby oil we're not advertising for anyone like i said earlier on get a mild baby oil that suits your baby skin where you are your daughter can also in uh, can also give you the name or the one that you have to use your daughter can also recommend 
the type that is best for your baby's skin depending on the kind of skin that you have and no matter the kind of skin that your child has whether it is oily skin dry skin even it is in winter in this part of the world every skin tends to dry up so you must ensure that you add enough oil to the lotion that you're using there are a lot of lotions that i got also i got this one it is for skin and for face this is how it came all right so but if you care you should be able to mix this too because most times they do not have enough oil you should get a lotion and then get an oil that matches with it and mix it together to ensure that the skin of this child gets enough oil that you should then some people also vow to using vaseline all right this is vaseline from my country nigeria and there's also another whiter type of vaseline that people also get from here it is white white jelly it's not really colored all right and then when this itching got to a point even for diaper rash and all the rest i was also suggested to get this this pentan cream okay when the itching was so much it got to a point became reddish dry and scary i was also advised to get this mostly i use this when there's rash in the diaper when i'm changing the pampas and then there's rash i use this it suits it very calmly but the most important thing that i've used that is natural my main approach is to work on using natural things for the babies because you don't know the major content of all of this even though something like this has a ph value of 5.5 this is another good thing that you should look out for baby creams the most content should be water ph should be 5.5 the natural thing that i've used it also works for myself for my entire family and for this my baby it is so natural is coconut oil okay natural coconut oil this is what i've used it suits both the entire body the face the diaper rash it helps when this rash is starting early it takes it away when the rash too is so severe having redness swelling or itchiness all over this just suits its original virgin coconut oil why do i advise that you get this? it is natural the only ingredient there is coconut oil there's no artificial thing that you should be scared of or worried of you see how glowy this part of my hand is just applying this and depending on the kind of skin that you have when you apply this it doesn't really you no know, disappear at at the moment it stays to nourish moisturize the skin you can also use this on your baby's hair like i do for myself too it's for my hair i also use it for her hair just work on these things and find out what works for you for your child do not wait till it gets severe i was ignorant i didn't know i thought that she had a skin disease or something severe until i went to the doctor they said it was just a dryness of skin that came with the weather and it happens just in winter okay which i've also experienced just this winter and now that it's beginning to show i know what to do i know what to you know apply i know what to avoid constant petting using harsh soaps okay using hot water and harsh sponge these are things that i put in check and i use coconut oil to suit the entire skin ensure that there's no itchy no redness no dryness it is all for now if you're watching this video do leave a comment in the section have you had an experience with your child or yourself where you had dry skin were you able to use to suit it or to prevent it did it work was it so effective for you let us know what you used and the environment where you are is it always coming during the winter or is it a general time or all time weather experience for you that is all that we have in this video and also guys i hope this video is also more audible because i am using this microphone that i made a review video on for the first time and the lightning too do well to check the video that i will leave in the link in the description box to you can also get this equipment and until my next video i will see you then don't forget to share this video with your friends your loved ones so they can also benefit from these tips have a great time and until my next video i will see you take care of yourself bye